Hello, I'm Michael Diamond. You're watching Muscle Central. Make sure you subscribe and turn on those notifications. Okay, I'm going to talk a little bit about classic physique. I uh, probably don't talk enough, of, uh, enough about it as I should, but here we go. Uh, it's been around, uh, I think, six years now. This is going on the seventh year of classic physique. It was put in place, uh, I guess you could say that the um, Bubba God era uh, had a major influence on it. Uh, people were complaining about bodybuilders on stage with these blown out guts and they wanted to see more of the look that we used to see. And so we get classic physique separated uh, by height and weight. Depending on your height, you're allowed up to uh, a certain weight. So the idea is now to keep the physiques in check. They don't get blown out and uh, maintain the aesthetics and that's all great in theory the the way it's set up but if you look at a sport other sports that have weight classes uh weightlifting uh boxing uh, wrestling, I'm not talking about professional wrestling, uh, <coughs> excuse me, they all have uh, weight classes, and you have a champion in each class. Now, get back to bodybuilding, I think where the problem arises is that there's an old saying, uh, a good big man beats a good small man. You could argue, and a lot of people would, that Terrence Ruffin had a better package than Chris Bumstead. I'm not saying that's why I feel, or that's, uh, but you can make an argument. Terrence Ruffin brings a, a beautiful physique. What's the major difference between the two of them? Uh, is the size, the stature of, uh, Chris Bumstead. And one thing, one of the things that is pointed out when comparing the two is how he overpowers him. Uh, to me, that's, there's a little bit of a dilemma. Uh, I un understand the weight class thing. Uh, the weight limit, depending on height, you want to keep the beautiful physique. But then it's not fair to that re really good little, uh, little guy against that really good big guy who is always going to get the nod and why should uh, the, the in, the, in this case with classic physique, when the idea is to keep the classic look to the physique, why should uh, the size be the determining factor? Uh, I'm not saying to get rid of classic physique. I think it's great, but. Uh, the only thing I can think of is we have uh, bodybuilding and we have classic physique. Bodybuilding is uh, op what we call open now and 212. So we have two divisions within the bodybuilding. Uh, need, uh, maybe... Uh, you change the the scale and 
from a height, height range to a weight range make three subdivisions and you have a champion and all. Uh, I don't know if that's feasible either. Uh, the, the point of this video is that uh, classic physique is great. I like classic physique. And the only issue is that someone like Terrence Ruffin, I'm going to use him as an example, uh, no matter how great a physique that he, he brings in, if someone like Bumstead, Chris Bumstead, brings in uh, a really good physique, also, Nod is always going to go to that, to Chris Bumstead, the bigger guy. Uh, so now you're penalizing the guy for being small of stature. After all, you're limiting the amount, amount of muscle he can have for his height. I don't know. This I can't think of any solution. Don't get rid of don't get rid of classic physique. I don't know if uh, making three subdivisions is feasible. Uh, I just had to get it, get that off my chest. Okay, if you uh, agree or disagree with what I've said, please let me know in the comment section. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share. By all means, subscribe. Do not forget to hit the notification bell. This way, every time I put up a new video, you'll be notified. Also, if you go to the description box, there are links there. One link is to the Facebook Muscle Central page. Any questions, you can go there and DM me. I'd be happy to answer them. Also, there are links to Species Nutrition and Mr. G's Protein Snacks. Click on both those links. Go to both those websites. Check out all their great products. Once again, this is Michael Diamond. I'd like to thank you for watching Muscle Central.